Hey everybody, all right, checking in with y'all, man. Hope y'all are good, hope y'all are great, hope y'all are blessed. Um, Want to share with y'all a little message for the day. Uh, the word of the weekend has been forgive. Um, man, it's one of those words or actions, you know, forgiveness, that uh, I don't think any of us really, you know, we don't get so excited about as in like, I hope we're in the position that we need to forgive somebody. Uh, as we discussed over the weekend, you know, in order to forgive somebody, you have to be wrong. You know, someone has to do you badly. You know, uh, one of the definitions is, you know, you need to be a victim of something. Um, and that's definitely not where people want to be. And I don't think that we also want to put people in that position, too. We don't want to make people our victims so that they have to forgive us. Um, you know, so forgiveness is a, is a very interesting concept but it's a super super important thing so uh i'm gonna do the lord's prayer with y'all um and then i'll get into the teaching our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for never ever amen hallelujah forever and ever forgive us our trespasses lord forgive us our sins lord forgive us our wrongdoings as we forgive those who do us wrong who trespass against us who sin against us who hurt us so in order for god to forgive us the way we want God to forgive us, right? Because we don't want God to partially forgive us. You know, we make mistakes on God's standard all the time. God's standard is perfect and holy and righteous. You know, so whether it's thought, word, and deed, or deed is, is you know, we have the opportunity to sin uh, very often, um, whether we try to or not. But when we go before God and we say, Lord, we ask for forgiveness of sins. Well, we need forgiveness of sins. We don't say, oh, hey, Lord, can you only forgive me of some of my sins? Because if we only ask for forgiveness of some of our sins, we wouldn't be able to have a relationship with God. We wouldn't, it would, it, there would be some imperfection within us. We only get that uh, forgiveness of sins when we ask for complete forgiveness of sins. We want forgiveness of sins of everything. But the thing is, we're only going to receive the forgiveness from God as we have forgiven others you know so if we're harboring you know past emotions and and hatred and separation you know those are going to be hindrances in our forgiveness that we receive from god um you know that phrase forgive and don't forget well if we if that's how we are we forgive and we don't forget that's how god's going to be towards us we ask to ask for forgiveness of our trespasses we've forgiven those who trespass against us so if we're telling God, hey, we forgive and we don't forget with these people. That's what we're telling God to do to us. Hey, God, forgive us, but don't forget. Um, you know, but we don't want that. We want to be forgotten, wiped away, brand new. Look at us as you look at your son, Jesus Christ, perfect, spotless, blameless. So we want our, our sins completely forgiven. So that means that to other people, other situations, other relationships, we need to completely forgive, completely forgive. It's easier said than done, but it's going to hinder our lives if we don't forgive. And uh, in Matthew, uh, the parable of the unforgiving servant, uh, not only was you know he harsh on someone that he didn't need to be harsh to, but God's word tells us that he was thrown over to the tormentors. You know, so if we don't forgive, we're gonna be tormented in this life, you know, uh, whether it's mental torment, physical torment, or spiritual torment, you know, that's what God's word tells us. If we, don't, if we have unforgiveness in our heart, we're the ones that are going to be tormented. So in order for us to have that 100% total forgiveness from God, we must work it out where we forgive others. Start with just saying, I forgive so-and-so. I forgive this person. I forgive myself for doing this. You know, I forgive. I forgive. We must forgive. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, let me pray. 
uh, I'll leave some notes at the at the in the comment section just to let you guys know where to look up some of these verses and everything. And man, just let it go. We gotta forgive and let it go. And one of the other verses, um, uh, Peter's talking about how many times should I forgive a brother? So you know we're gonna have intimate relationships our 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 wives our husbands our our children our brothers our sisters our mom our dad usually that forgiveness is going to be from someone that you hold near and dear near and dear and maybe you've put some blocks up in that relationship to just forge a way forward with that relationship but you don't trust that person like this anymore or you don't talk to that person like this anymore you don't let this person in anymore forgive not partial forgiveness total forgiveness. Let it go. Forgive in Jesus' mighty name. Forgive. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, so much for your word. Lord, help us just to release those who have hurt us, those who we wanted to maybe have vengeance against, uh, those that have caused us to feel like a victim. Lord, help us to forgive. And we thank you, Lord, for forgiving us so much, Lord. Uh, your standard is perfect and holy, and we make mistakes in thought, word, and deed, Lord, but you forgive us. So, Lord, help us to forgive freely as you have forgiven us. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifices. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. Lord, send your Holy Spirit to teach us, lead us, and guide us, Heavenly Father, so that we may forgive and have restoration and reconciliation in relationships, Lord. First with you, but then with our, our, our brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, the people that we work with, the people that we relate to. Heavenly Father, you're amazing, King of everything, and we thank you, Lord, so much. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. All right, y'all. Peace and God bless.